Hey guys, this is going to be a video on how to save the changes that you have made as well as how to change the name and description of each of these classes. Let's get right into it. New game, class warrior. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is get there, open up cheat engine, attach it to Dark Souls. This is the same table as we used in the last video with the helpers and all that. So what we're going to do first is we are going to edit our warrior in the menu. We do that the same way we did it before. Okay. <clears throat> Here we go. Here's our warrior. Let's just Give him a little, little bit of other stuff on him. And change his soul level and stats. Okay, there's our warrior now. He turned out quite beautiful, actually. I like that. Um, so we have our stats changed. We've changed him how we want him to be. Now we need to change his name and description. So what we're going to do is actually before we do that, I'm going to show you how to save these changes. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click on souls. Actually, not quite yet. You're going to want to download the table that I've linked in the description of this video. Open that up right here. I believe that shows up. Yep. <laughs> and this start classes AOB replace template. You're going to want to copy that copy and you want to paste it into this table over here to just paste oh there we go it's right there at the bottom and we're going to call this just double click on it change this my custom class there we go my custom class and so now what we're going to do is we're going to come back up here I'm going to right click on souls and do browse this memory region and we're going to do kind of like we did before with the uh, in-game menu when we're taking the menu and turning it into the in-game version we're going to copy this I'm going to copy this okay and we are going to bring it over here, you see where it says script on my custom class? You want to double click on that? You want to look for Warrior M right here. Warrior M is for Warrior Menu, whereas Warrior is just for the in game version. And this is for every class. We have Knight M for Knight Menu, the Knight, Wanderer M, Wanderer, so on. The M just means menu. So right here where it says DB under the Warrior M, we're just going to put a space and we're going to paste our changes right there. Okay. And so that's all set actually. That's all you have to do. And since we're not changing the in-game warrior here, or the knight or anything like that, we can just delete all this other crap. This is for all the other classes. We can just scroll down here, delete everything down to the disable. Bam. Because all we're changing right now is warrior. The same down here, we have the disable part. Everything from Warrior, so here's Warrior M. Everything below Warrior we're not using, so we can delete all that. This is all we're using for this moment right here. But if you're doing all the classes, you obviously want to keep everything. Okay, let's hit OK to save that script. Now if I double click on it again, it opens up and it looks just like this. And so the way this works is for this Warrior M, first over here, it scans for the original Low, the original group of bytes that makes up the warrior and it'll find it and then this is our what we're going to replace it with what we've edited and that's, so that's when we enable it from up here enable when we enable the script it's going to find this replace it with this and then when we disable the script it's going to put the original back into place this is the same thing as this up here that's just the original bytes, the original bytes, and then our edited bytes. That's how the script works. And so, if I 
just check that off. I'm not going to do it now because it won't work since I currently have edits in place. It won't be able to find the original group of bytes because it has, you know, we have this right now, not this. Uh, once we restart the game later, I'll show you how the script wor works fully. But now we want to change the name of our class. So right up here we have names and we have a group of bytes right here. We're just going to copy that. Going to go over here to value type. It will look like this for you with four bytes. What we're going to do is on value type switch it to array of byte and then we're going to paste in what we just copied, get rid of the parenthesis on the end, and make a scan. Only one thing will come up every time. You want to right click, browse this memory region, and as you can see right here there's text. Actually it's going to look like this for you at the start with a bunch of dots between everything. To get rid of that You'll just right click anywhere in here, go to text encoding, and change it to UTF-16. And here we go, it'll look a bit prettier, still has spaces between it all. And so if we want to start editing, all we have to do is start typing. Hello. And as you can see in game, it's already changing, it changes as you go for the text. And we have this extra space here, we don't want to use those, so we can just get rid of, oh, not like that. Well, I guess you can get rid of it like that. If you backspace, it does that. If you put spaces, it's essentially the same thing. They don't show up. And what you want to do is just change each of these to whatever you can, but uh, you can't go beyond. I'll show you with the knight. If you want to change the knight to hunter, it's, oh, it actually fits. Let's call it hunter two. <laughs> See how in game there, it says hunter two wanderer. That's because where I put the two, there's supposed to be a space that separates these. And even if I put the space to separate these in here, see it doesn't help. And just putting blank spaces there gets rid of the wanderer entirely. So unfortunately, whoops, unfortunately you can't go any farther than the default but what you can do is change it to anything that already fits within the text. So Pyromancer is a really long name, so you can fit a lot of stuff in there. Thief, not a long name. You can't get too much in Thief. And so here's the changes we've made. We're going to copy all these names right here, all the way down to Deprived. Copy that go to my custom class again, double click on script, and right here in the DB under names, put a space and put our edit. Hit OK, that's that. So again, it's going to do the same thing as before. When you first activate the script, it's going to find the names, then it's going to replace the names, and then when you disable the script, it's going to put the names back to how they were. That's how it works. Now to edit the descriptions of our classes. Same thing up here, we have descriptions at the top. Let's just copy these bytes, hit new scan, delete that, gonna paste our bytes, remove the parentheses, hit first scan, and again, just one thing will pop up. You want to right click, browse this memory region, and here we go, on the side you can see, fearless warrior, weapon expert, high strength dexterity. That's the exact same description we have on our warrior right there. Let's start changing it. Large bean and dot and you see over here there's a small little line between weapon and this space here. There's a small little line, and you can see on the left, highlighted, it's that zero A zero zero. That's a line break right there. So if I got rid of that oops, I made messed up that one. Make that a D. See, so now we have our spaces, and then our D in weapon, but since there's no more line break in that spot, it all looks kind of weird. You have to put in the line breaks manually in the bytes over here. So just wherever you want it, click on the spot so it's highlighted. Like if you want it right there, you can see the highlighted on the side, just change that to 0A, and there you go. And... 
There you go, let's just leave it at that since it's, it's very obvious now what the change is. Oh, and one thing to note again is you cannot go into the knight's area again. See, this is where the warrior ends. Right here. And we can't, since it says low ranking knight, that's where the knight begins. We can't do that. If we put a G there to get rid of the space between them, as you can see, it puts it right in with our warrior here. And that one's still fine, but that messes up our warrior. Whoops. We're just gonna put these zeros back in there so they're separated again. <coughs> okay, and now let's say we finish changing all of these descriptions to everything we want. Let's copy every single thing here. <laughs> it goes pretty far in this case, but uh, you just want to go down to this plank shield part. Once it says no sign of a gift, then there's divine holy water, fully restores. It's you know that's in the whole gift. That's the text for all the gifts underneath the class. What we're gonna do is we're gonna copy all of this. Control C. We're going to bring this back to our script and plop it down right here just like the others and we're gonna hit OK. And so now <clears throat> we're gonna restart our game. Let's cancel this. Exit. <clears throat> and Cheat Engine Everything you do in Cheat Engine is temporary, so if you want to save something, you have to make these scripts. I've tried to make it easy right now through, you know, through making these templates for you, but that's the easiest way it can be done, really. Let's go to New Game. Class Warrior. See, everything's been reset. So if you want to have this really quickly again, let's reattach to Dark Souls. Since we restarted, we have to reattach it. If you ever have something activated, see how I had these activated like this? If you ever have something activated and you attach it to a game, it's going to ask you, it's going to say there are things activated. Do you want to you know, do you want to like deactivate them? Just say yes every time. <coughs> so now we have my custom class here. Let's enable this. It'll take a second cuz it has to search and then replace, especially if you're doing a lot of different things at once. If you're doing all the classes, it will take a little bit of time. I mean, probably 10 seconds or so. But this is pretty quick since we're only replacing three different things. So as you can see, it's already... Oh, you can't see that until I get rid of the window. As you can see, our warrior is now called Hello. And look, there he is. Just like before. We have our Hunt Duck. We also have Large Bee Man, Weapon Expert. Just like we had it before everything's there and if you disable this script just by clicking right here again everything immediately goes back to normal activate it again after a second it'll come back up and that is how you save things change them and change the description of the name and also save any changes you've made. Thank you for watching.